So depending on how long you've been watching, you may or may not know that my goal in life is to type the entire B-movie script. You may also know that a couple years ago I made several attempts to do so, all of which were unsuccessful. I had originally tried to write it, but let's just say that my handwriting literally looked like I was in second grade. There are several reasons why that is. First of all, I didn't have an actual monitor yet. So I was legit sticking a GoPro into the hole of my old Lego bin to record my writing. So I was just hunched over, and I already don't have a very good back. My handwriting, already horrible in the first place, got ruined from sitting like this in my small little bedroom under a light for an hour. After I posted my progress to my community tab, and I saw everyone saying my handwriting looked like that of a child's. I immediately realized this was a horrible idea. Whatever. Somebody already successfully did this anyway. So I moved to the next best thing. Which was typing it. There have been several people that have successfully done this. But I especially like this one. Because he typed on a keyboard at a steady pace all the way through. And I wanted to base my video off of his. So I believe I had first attempted it on the family MacBook. I hadn't slept very well that day. So I was a little scattered. But the first thing I wanted to do after I got home from school was to type the B-movie script. I had just been so hyped at the thought of it. So that evening, I opened the MacBook. But one thing I immediately realized is that I couldn't find a good place to stick my GoPro where I could show myself typing. So what did my stupid one IQ brain do? Well, it decided to stick the tripod on top of the thin screen. It wouldn't latch on tight enough for my liking. So I kept pushing it down. Harder and harder. It still wouldn't work. I decided to bend the tripod. But I had to put it at such an awkward angle in order for it to work. I was beginning to get really impatient. So I guess I must have stuck it on too hard. but the screen started flipping out. It took me a moment to realize that something was wrong. I told my mom, and she said that I must have just made it flip out, and it needs some time to go back to normal, and it probably just had a little crack in it. But as she looked closely at it, we realized that it was probably something worse than that. Now my dad wasn't home yet, and he's the more tech-savvy kinda guy. So me, being the anxious wreck that I am in these situations, started flipping out and curling up in a ball in bed, and having a panic attack or something. I wanted to shelter myself from this situation, because I feel sick to the stomach whenever I do something wrong. I don't know how much time passed before my dad finally came home, but I remember just laying in bed, trying to have some alone time to regenerate, and process what happened for quite a while. I eventually came out of my dungeon after a few times of hesitation, and everyone was just flipping out and saying things like I wanna die. My sister really got worked up about it, because me and her began sharing some of our deepest and darkest secrets to each other like it was the end of the frickin' world or something. I don't know. None of us think clearly whenever we're stressed. Anyway, everyone eventually settled down, and my dad was thinking about getting a monitor to plug the broken computer into. Which is actually the exact monitor I'm editing on right now. 
It's more convenient than a Mac to be honest with you. But anyway, back to that day. I remember just waking up in the middle of the night and feeling horrible and guilty. I felt really frustrated with myself. And that's when I realized that my journey of typing the B-movie script wasn't gonna be easy. So after several other attempts that inevitably failed for one reason or another, and even after breaking my dad's MacBook worth as much as a thousand dollars, I decided that I would continue to try and type the B-movie script. So I did one stream where I tried to type it live, but that just didn't work out very well. So I ditched that idea after the first one. So once we got the monitor, I decided to try it on there, which was actually going pretty well. But something about the camera setup just wasn't working for me. So I decided to ditch that idea. But of course I still didn't learn my lesson. Because I got my grandma to get me a wireless keyboard. And I attempted to use my iPad for it. I had used the exact Lego bin method I had used for the writing. And it was basically the exact same result. My back hurt. And I got nowhere. I had thought about it a few other times. But nothing worked out. So by 2021. I felt like I needed to try and improvise if I wanted to accomplish this goal. If I was gonna actually do this, this would be the most anticipated video yet. So I wanted to eliminate a few methods of doing it. I don't physically have good enough equipment or a setup, which I had written a lengthy post about before. Typing it in only a few goes was also not gonna work. So I decided to just start recording myself typing it on a Google Doc. I lost that footage. But it wasn't before long that I began typing it on pages. And I do have that footage. I've just been typing it every once in a while. And I already have 20 minutes worth of editing. So while I don't have the attention span or anything to type it within a few hours, if I can take even just a year to accomplish my biggest goal in life for the past couple of years, then I'll do it. So yeah, I just kinda wanted to update you guys on this, because I didn't want anyone to think I just completely gave up on it. Although I should really start getting productive on it again. I'm a little over halfway through. So I'd say that you should expect the video to finally release sometime this year. If anything happens. Then I'll probably update you guys. Just try and occasionally remind me to try and finish up the video instead of being a lazy potato.